Hey guys, this is Alex, and this is my studio tour. Now, most of you guys are probably new here, and I just want to say welcome. <laughs> As an introduction to basically who I am, I make art sonically and visually. So in this video, I'll show you guys my setup and pretty much what I use on my daily basis. Uh, before I begin, I want to emphasize I didn't buy everything all at once. This is a collection of years. And uh, believe me, it's it's been a long time coming. Well, to start things off is my computer. It's probably the first thing you notice as soon as you walk into my studio. It's an iMac 27-inch Intel Core i7 quad-core processor with 32 gigs of RAM and one terabyte of storage. I don't know too much about computers, but apparently this thing's a beast and therefore she deserves love. Okay, so moving on below the iMac is just a bunch of things and it's typically a mess. <laughs> you got things from utensils to my pencil sharpener to my bottle of water to my all my figurine to my controllers on my lamp and my jar of greed as I call it <laughs> this is pretty much where you have my drawing gloves I have a pair so if one gets dirty I could use the other one my microfiber cloth because I have glasses micro SD adapter and I have a bunch of guitar picks all the way at the bottom which you will see in a second. There it is. <laughs> I usually have my Audio Technicas lying around. They're pretty reliable for the most part. They're Bluetooth and they're pretty niche. Speaking of audio, I could not make this commentary without my Focusrite Scarlet Solo audio interface. Now, I did not know <laughs> that I needed such a contraption to make music. And as soon as I found that out, I had to go out and buy one. <laughs> okay, well moving on is my Cintiq 13 inch Wacom. I hope I pronounced that right. Now, I've been having the Wacom for about five years, give or take, and I love it. I run all my drawings through it. I mainly use Photoshop on it, which you're gonna see right here. Everything about this machine just handles so well, and I can tell it's gonna last a while. I would upgrade, but to, I would upgrade to a bigger size, but uh, it's not in my budget, and I'm already kind of used to this size since I've always drawn on a like computer-sized paper. It's very comfortable too, stylus-wise. Normally when I don't use it, I store it right below my sketchbook just so I could have space for my sketchbook to draw. And right there is my main sketchbook as of right now. This is the first sketchbook I want to finish from uh, beginning to end. And I've never done that. <laughs> Usually what I do is just fill in probably half and then after I like fill in half I get the urge to start again because I just don't like how it's coming out because I want a perfect sketchbook But that kind of defeats the purpose of a sketchbook <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Like a sketchbook is for your rough draft ideas and looking at different types of sketchbooks online and getting inspiration from it could be very tedious. And in the last two clips you saw my keyboard and mouse pad. <laughs> Not much else to talk about that. Uh, my dog actually likes to sit right below me most of the time. There's Andy. He's just chilling. <laughs> okay, moving on to the right of my desk are my speakers, bass, piano, ukulele. Uh, I use Edifier speakers. They're Bluetooth. They're pretty good. Uh, 
Uh, there's not much complaint. Like, they get the job done. You know what I mean? As for my base, it's a PV base. I bought it on eBay. And I really like it. The base handles pretty well. I've customized it with a bunch of stickers. <laughs> Just to feel like it's more mine, I guess. I don't know what to say about that, really. Uh, on my wall is a poster, calendar, and an eraser board. Just trying to be more organized with my day to day life. Yeah. And right below that is my Yamaha piano synth. I actually have a couple synths in my room, keyboards, whatever you want to call them. I have a MIDI, uh, a Kai, I believe that's what they're called. I have it right here. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> a Casio SK1, which I got off of eBay. I only really wanted it because I saw that local natives used it once. It's really cool because you could actually sample stuff. It, it's it's very gritty though, like the grain. Uh, here you can see my microphone. It's a Shure microphone. It's like thirty dollars. It's very cheap. Maybe I'll buy a better one. Maybe not. But moving on <laughs> to the right of my room. Uh, here are my brother's guitars, which he's just left them here. I I'm not going to show them because they're not mine. And this is the corner of my room. Here you have my camera. It's a Canon Rebel T5. You have my sketchbook. Well, you have a lot of my sketchbooks. <laughs> this is what I meant, like, I start sketchbooks, but I never finish them and I really want to because they're literally just taking up space and that's a collection of years just lying there and some school stuff that like I've graduated already but I still have them lying around just in case for some reason I'm honestly becoming a hoarder it's it's terrible <laughs> right next to the sketchbooks is my cutting station as I call it it's pretty much where I make all the trimmings to prints that I sell this is a piece called Phoenix I made this in college for my first art show that paper trimmer you're seeing is actually kind of it's not it's not cheap it's, it gets the job done, but I just bought the wrong size because I'm an idiot. I have bought a new print, uh, paper trimmer though. It's one of those like guillotine ones <laughs> where you lift the blade and you just squash it down. Yeah, those are my favorite. <laughs> this is my portfolio folder that you're seeing right here. It's pretty much where I keep all the prints so they don't get dusty. Okay, moving on to below the printing station is my scanner. It's an Epson scanner. Uh, it, it's very, it gives off a very high quality scan. Usually during the process of making a drawing, I would, of course, finish the drawing. Then I would scan it onto my Mac. And then from there, I would start Photoshopping. Right below the scanner is my games. Now my art box, as you see it, is just mainly a crate for my oils. I bought all of these oils and materials from my FASA check. You honestly just have to take that opportunity to buy art supplies because they're ridiculously expensive and overpriced in my opinion, but whatever. Here you see my glass palette. It's mainly all skin tones because I tend to work with portraits the most. Here you see where I stick uh, my vinyls, my records, whatever you want to call them. I don't care. <laughs> it's just a nice place to appreciate the artwork. And what you're seeing here is my record collection. It's pretty small, but I, I make it worthwhile. I've been collecting vinyl since 2015 I believe 
pretty much when I started college. Ever since then, like, it's like the only thing I, I really collect because I just love how it sounds compared to everything else. I would expand my collection, but it's very expensive. I also have a collection of cameras, uh, most of which don't work or I don't use, like that Pentax. The one I use probably the most is the Polaroid, and I would use it occasionally. Usually I always go with my Canon. Speaking of Canon, this is my Canon Pixma printer and it's above my shelf as I call it. Uh, this is the newest addition to the studio and it's... Uh, I love it so much. It's huge. <laughs> it, it prints very high quality. The darks are very rich and I got a really good deal on it. It's another thing I bought off eBay. Uh, usually the mechanics to a printer are pretty straightforward. This one kind of took me a while to figure out. And I've, I'm still testing it out. Like so far I've only done about, I'll say, five prints. So I still have a lot of ink left. I actually have a special project in mind for it since uh, it came with uh, around 50 sheets of photocopy, whatever, photo paper, semi gloss, or semi gloss. And right below that is my color pencils. Now, my color pencils and my regular pencils is what I use the most, so it's what I have the most of. Usually I would organize it by color, but lately I've been organizing by what I tend to use the most. It, it's, it's a very large collection. Well, moving on is my markers, which is right below that. Usually for by markers, it's I, I have a a lot of variety when it comes to it. I have a Prisma Color. I have Posca. Posca is the newest one in my collection, but the one I've been using the most lately is brush pens. Here you see my charcoal sets, my pencils, right below that, and then right below that is a. Uh, where I keep my paints and my brushes usually I keep my smaller brushes here because they fit here it's it's a nice little collection of random stuff and that pretty much ends my whole studio tour yeah <laughs> I guess I'll see you later peace out <laughs>